that while our resident film critic Scott Birmingham joins us to talk about a movie that everyone seems to be talking about. My husband went to go see it last week in the theater with you and loved it. Other people, mm, not so much, Scotty. Yeah, it's almost a hate or love kind of a film, yeah. I think, at least. And that's why I've, I've read some on Facebook kind of saying about the same thing. Yeah. Before we get hot and heavy into that, looking at this week's box office numbers, we have that number one, the new animated film, Big Hero 6 making $56 million, and at number two, Interstellar, pulling in $47 million. At number three, and quite a drop, is Gone Girl, which is still sticking around and doing pretty good at $6 million. Today we're talking about the number two film in the country, Interstellar, starring last year's Best Actor Oscar winner Matthew McConaughey and directed by Christopher Nolan. The film runs 169 minutes, which is about two hours and 50 minutes. A small group of explorers make use of a wormhole to surpass the limitations on space travel and conquer the distances involved in an interstellar voyage. After all the hype, there are some good messages to take away from this film, as well as a share of irony, from questioning what space has to offer mankind to the altering of information that is gathered to our twisted perception of saving mankind and even to starting a whole colony of people regardless of the human cost. Interstellar is a breath of fresh air when it comes to storytelling. It is a thinking person's movie. I give it four out of four stars. It's a must see on a big screen kind of movie. Talking about there's a connection apparently between the commercial that Matthew McConaughey did and the movie. Have you seen this yet? I don't think I've seen the commercial, oh, no. Google it. Yeah, Google it. There's a they say there's a connection between the two. All right. If someone didn't want to go out to the movies tonight, they'd like to maybe just stay home with a bowl of popcorn, some DVD releases. Yes, especially with the wool cooling down, you know, the uh, put the fireplace on this week on DVD and direct TV front. We have a few new comedies with with Let's Be Cops. Tammy with Melissa McCarthy and Susan Sarandon, and the drama musical about Frankie Valley and the Four Seasons called Jersey Boys, directed by Clint Eastwood. Of the three, I've seen Jersey Boys, and though I'm not a big fan of musicals, I really kind of liked it. Mm, not all right. too bad. And what are we looking at for next week? Well, next week, <clears throat> and yes, excuse me, not being a big fan of the whole Dumb and Dumber thing, I've decided, you know what, I'm going to look at a smaller independent film, because it's probably going to be number one anyways, and everybody's going to be talking about it. <laughs> We're going to go see Michael Keaton in Birdman, and talk about that, and there's only one theater in Reno that's showing it. Going rogue, is that what you're saying? That's it. Going rogue. Going Facially <laughs> and movie-wise, going rogue. If people would like to get a hold of you, Scott, they've got a suggestion, i.e. just berate him and bruise him with us. Dumb and Dumber requests, please. <laughs> no, don't do that. How can they get a hold of you? Uh, you can just go onto our website, or you can look me up at S. Birmingham at sbgtv.com. There's a mouthful there. Yeah, I'm not sure that bruise is a word, but we're <laughs> you know what I'm talking about. All right.